Greg Logan, your branch manager with our engineering division. So we just had our largest ramp ever in the state of Kentucky go down at Kentucky Dam Village, correct? Yes, or the largest ramp that we've ever actually pushed into the water. Really, there's a lot more that went on than just pouring slabs of concrete. You guys actually went in and busted up the old ramp and used that material because you readjusted the angle, which should make it easier for boaters to launch or load their boat, correct? Correct. Uh, that ramp had um, a short ramp, and they launch a lot of houseboats on that ramp, so they were backing off, uh, and we were getting complaints that uh, the percent of slope or grade was too steep. So we went out and did some sounding, figured out how far out in the water we could go uh, before it started flattening out, and checked the grade, and we needed quite a bit of fill material, so with that one, we were able to bust that concrete up in, in real small chunks and use that material for fill, and then we put some riprap on top of it. So that old ramp is still serving a purpose. It, it wasn't is. wasted. It was, it's still used to correct that angle and used for a base. Correct? Yes. Yeah. Getting that slope right, you guys have got a formula for that, and getting that slope right is really important, I'm guessing. Correct, and uh, you know, pouring concrete on the bank and letting that cure up to push it into the water for your, your push-in part of the ramp, you know, that, that slope's got to be perfect. Uh, it can't change what you've got on the bank. It has to be the same out in the water because when you start pushing, if it changes, then your concrete's going to break. Talk a little bit about that push. I mean, the, what we just saw, we had five dozers down there, correct? Pushing that major slab of concrete out into the water. That's correct. We did a uh, uh, five lane ramp. Each lane was 14 foot wide. And uh, we, we wanted to put a dozer behind each lane. You know, we're pushing on top of uh, normally like a class two riprap. Concrete's all tied together with steel, uh, reinforced to hold it together. One lane, depending on the length or the thickness we pour, but just uh, an idea, one of those lanes probably weighed uh, 45,000 pounds wow. per lane. And uh, uh, once you get it broke loose, then it's easy from that point. They'll, they'll just move it right on down. And you can tell while watching that push take place that, that it's all one piece and it's not busting apart. Obviously, you have a bulldozer pushing on one end if it wasn't all connected through all the lanes, then it would just bust that concrete. It, it would, it would come apart. Um, and all the dozers were different, different horsepower. We had guys on the ground. Uh, we had a guy for, for each man on the dozer, motioning for him to either speed up or slow down to try to keep them all together. Even though it's tied in, we want it all pushed evenly uh, into the water. So, uh, you know, once we get that ramp, in the water, and then the guys go to work. They'll start forming, they'll, they'll clean up any ruts that the dozers made pushing, they'll smooth it back out and uh, form up the next section behind it, put plastic down again, tie all the steel and, and, and pour again. And, uh, you know, we, we get people come by and they see that we've poured this concrete and, uh, and then the next day they come and the concrete's gone and they ask the question, where did that concrete go? Well, it's out in the water now, so <laughs> it's almost like starting over again. And, and, uh, and we'll just keep doing that until we, we pour up to the finished point. Nobody wants a new boat ramp, do they? <laughs> no. I'd say every lake in the state would love to have a new boat ramp, would they not? I'd say they would. I, we get a lot of people that uh, would like for us to come in and, and, and rebuild some of their ramps because of problems. People either backing off the end because they're too short or they're too steep. Well, I appreciate all the hard work that you guys do, and uh, I look forward to using all these ramps. <laughs> I, I want to tour around and check them all out. So thanks, thanks again. I definitely appreciate it. Thank you.